Hello everyone, this is Dalton again. I'm coming to you from my art studio where I painted um, this house. I wanted to try something a little different. Um, this is just a little house kind of out in, the, in a mountain valley um, where you know you can kind of see a little bit different way of living where you're kind of secluded and, and far away from people. But I just kind of like the idea of, of this one human structure in the middle of all this nature. I just thought it looked really cool, um, really interesting. So anyway, um, I've recently been doing um, a lot of different pieces of artwork. Sorry I didn't upload last week. I had jury duty, which we all know how fun that is. Um, luckily I wasn't chosen, so I didn't have to go again um, this Monday, but that's why I'm bringing you a video today. Um, so anyway, I was just really excited to um, upload this and to sh share it with you. Let me know what you think. Um, I've been getting a lot of great response to my Facebook page and being able to to um, post several different things. So if you guys are interested in my work, go check me out there. Um, you can just look me up at Bannister Art Facebook. Um, so yeah, I was able to do a, um, a lot of cool different things with this. I was able to actually work on a background and a foreground where normally I just kind of focus on one subject. Um, you know, that kind of takes up the whole page, um, whether it be, you know, my animals or, or even in my drawings. A lot of times I'll, I'll just focus on one single building or, or something like that. It doesn't always have the background, the foregrounds in them. So, um, this was just a little different for me and it challenged me a little bit different, but it was still really exciting. Um, this is based off of a painting that I did when I was in high school where my original art teacher who I had at the time, um, had us draw a building similar to this and then and then go in and paint it with watercolor and gouache um, and gouache is just like a, a thicker watercolor that um, you can layer on top of different things and get lighter colors when you layer on top of it but um, so it works almost opposite as watercolor where you have to start light and then go dark um, you can actually layer the gouache a little bit better but um, anyway I was just really excited the way this one turned out and uh, I have to say that I think I think it was updated well. It doesn't look it doesn't look um, like I I'm first starting out, and uh, I did it all on my own. I didn't have to have my art teacher, you know, on my back, where you know, or right behind me, saying, "Hey, here's here's what we need, and here's what we're gonna do," and, and doing it for me. So here it is. It's the final piece. So let me know what you think. If you like it, let me know. Like, share, subscribe. Have a great day.